What's up, guys? So today we're just gonna be making. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Someone is calling me. Wait a second. Let me pick up my phone right now. Yo, is that Bob? Hold on. Let me pick this up. What does he want? Yes. Hey, man. What did I tell you, bro? What? You can't be slacking on these uploads. All right. Oh yeah, I can't. I can't be lazy. You're right, bro. Yeah, I'm man, cheating. you can't be doing that because I feel mm -hmm. like the people just, will just leave you, man. Yeah, but hold on, hold on, chill, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, boy, all right? Work, all right? Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Jason Max here. Oh, uh, yes, we are back. I'm finally back with another Wicked Freaking Wednesday once again, man. I know everybody has been missing this series, honestly, man. I'm really apologize because I know for the past few months, I've been actually slacking a little bit. I know I had, like, a lot of family business I've been actually going through. That's why I couldn't do a Wicked Wednesday. Wednesday last Wednesday because I had like I had to go to a trip for like one day basically just one day but yeah guys we're just here just to chill you know about to stop playing some games some horror games and that's the series too if you really did enjoy my black ops series up here guys I'm really glad you did even though it was very great I'm not gonna lie but let's go ahead and just stop my yapping here and y'all go ahead and just smack 25 likes in this video for today and let's just go ahead and get our popcorns get our snacks and get our waters let's just go ahead and get straight into this all right guys we're back with a wednesday video i done something different instead of something scary so today's video we are actually gonna be reacting to the dumbest criminals ever whoever has the iq of dumbness i'm gonna be honest bro i don't know who's gonna be in this but i think this is going to be funny all right but let's just go ahead and get this started bro. let's go man most criminals are not usually okay. very clever from accidentally self-snitching to calling the police on themselves here are four of the dumbest criminals there are yeah bro all, all of them are just basically dumb so they barely just snitch yourselves they don't have the biggest iq in the world i mean some criminals have the biggest iq but some of them just don't because they're just basically just stupid bro. starting with 25 year old eric edwards who had been a fugitive for three days alongside his partner said for the shooting and killing of michael hudson where they mm. followed him in a car while driving okay. and then shot him to death he had Ooh. finally decided to give himself in the following interrogation footage is a cut out version of a show as the original one is not available but it serves its purpose to show how dumb a criminal can be the best thing exactly to himself is to be truthful with me tell me the truth tell me exactly what happened said he was drunk i ain't gonna lie i was in a car when he was shooting so so you're saying said actually shot it didn't take that long for eric to tell personally bro i think he's captain bro there's no way he actually shot said bro there's no way, bro. You, you don't have the IQ of yourself, bro. Just, just tell the truth already, bro. You, you can't, you can't keep it a secret, bro. Tell on his friend, and his version of the events implicated his friend said as the shooter as they chased Michael down the street. Oh but damn. the detective knew it hadn't really been like that. The physical evidence on the street does not match up with the driver of your car shooting. That's that's where we're All at. Right. I'm gonna tell you straight up, man. I was driving. Hmm? All I right. was driving. Driving, huh? Stop the cab, bro. Cedric was shooting from the passenger side? Yes. No. Mm. That's, yeah, that's, that's not true either. That's so the detective sad. didn't see much cooperation <laughs> on Eric's side. Bro, can't keep the lies to himself, man. That's all I gotta say, bro. Some of these criminals are just very stupid, bro. I'm not even joking, bro. They can't, they always do some bad stuff in the world, but you can't even get away from it, dude. You can't. Decided to bring up the victim's family to appeal to his emotional side without any idea of what was going to happen next. Two people were yeah. shot. One died. Damn. Left behind several brothers, the family, sisters. Man. I know, I know, I know who he is. His brother died six months ago. Sure did. His brother Mark is the one I shot his name, Mike. Mm. After blatantly confessing, Eric stupidly blames the detective for putting words in his mouth in an attempt to save himself. Hey, listen to me. You just said the one I shot. All right. So no. 
Did you say it the one I said? With no need for yeah, bro. This guy's hundred percent capping himself, and he's also just blaming the, the detective at the same time too. This is literally funny, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm already loving this already, bro. Two minutes of the clip, I'm already loving it. Their proof. Eric is finally arrested for murder. His face Told says you. it all. And if you thought Told criminals you, couldn't be any dumber, you certainly exactly. don't know Antoine, 24 year old. Yeah, Eric. that first guy, he's very dumb. He says he shot him. No, I shot him, bro. I went like, ha, ha. Like, no, I'm just kidding, guys. No, no. Don't clip me for that, please. All right, let's keep going. Got you, my boy. Tuan Sims had gone to a McDonald's, and because his fries were cold, and they That's didn't crazy. give him McDonald's, a McDonald's, bro. He then decided to call the police. But what the police Bruh. didn't know yet is that Antoine had a warrant for arrest for failing to appear in court for a 2018 homicide, homicide. where he set a car on fire oh. with a woman I don't in know. it. Ten twenty-two. I got contact. What's up, man? Uh, okay. What's up? Uh, basically, we went in there. Purchase some food. Um, I guess there's something wrong with their server. A lady before us tried to order on the little box thing. She Sorry. said that wasn't working. He had to stop us from ordering and go help her. Okay. So it's, he probably frustrated at work. You okay. know what I'm saying? That's the whole scenario. Okay. What I do. So why'd y'all call? So like, what happened? Because we ordered the food. Um, he couldn't print us a receipt. Okay. Um, so he said the receipt would be printed in the back. So I okay. said, okay. So we sat down, me and my fiance looking for homes around here. Gotcha. So we uh, went back to Progressive Rentals looking at homes. Uh -huh. um, I guess our order was called. I'm not really sure about the homes, but how can you mess up your order, though? That's my question. The McDonald's. I know McDonald's kind of sucks at, like, the service and stuff and all of that. I don't ever normally eat McDonald's anymore because I know how bad it is. You know, like, you eat too much of it, dude. You might get, like, diseases and all of that I'm not gonna talk about that, but let's just go ahead and get straight to it. Oh, but we don't even know our order number. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So now our food is sitting there cold. So when I come up, I say, you know, I try to fry the fries. Or they're lukewarm, but they're not hot. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I just ask him, can we get some fresh, fresh fries? Okay. He said, okay, the fries are not hot. Touch the fries. He said, no, they're not hot. Ooh. At this point, you don't touch them. So, you know, yeah, yeah can I just get a fresh set? Okay. So is he getting the fries? And I said, can I also get the receipt? That was five minutes ago. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He, excuse me, sir. Five minutes ago, I can I can run my store however I want to run my store. Okay. Damn. Sir, I'm, okay. I didn't pay. He said, matter of fact, he's you can leave my property. Know, get off my property now. Or you can come and get, uh, I do a refund. I say, sir, we, we can, um. The way he said, uh, uh, I can tell he's lying already, bro. Whenever he said, uh, uh, I don't know, dude. <laughs> Cash up card is three to seven business days to do a refund. Just give me my set of fries and my receipt. That's what you're supposed to do anyway when I pay for my order. Okay. Having explained on, the situation dude. to the officer, Antoine is then asked for his ID, which he doesn't have at the moment. So he gives the officer. You got to be kidding me, bro. How do you not have your ID? Do you just forget the house or you just didn't want to bring it because you don't want to get arrested or lie to yourself to say that this dude, this guy is kind of dumb now. All of his personal information, who then questions the manager of the restaurant, you got who to tells be a completely me. different story Ooh. bring it out for him what happened he insists that he's and all his food is cold okay he's burning in my hands so whatever that's okay. you know not you know doesn't really matter okay Take the next one starts cut discussing me you better give me fresh fries mother Mm -hmm. Ew. here's a little old lady and she mm -hmm. just came up to us if you need me to talk to the police like, no nah, nah, yeah i got this but he starts losing it starts shoving his food at me mm -hmm. and i asked the sir he said i said well but tell you what you can take your business elsewhere give me a car give me a refund no I'm, you're not going to give me an effort refund you're going to give me my food and my money back mm -hmm. so, okay so look, sir, Ooh, this guy is lying I took his food so he's got nothing to show at me next because next thing you know he's throwing mm -hmm. his drink at me mm -hmm. The way how he says this stuff is crazy, bro. It's wild. This guy is basically just lying to himself. He's so stupid, bro. Oh my god. How do we get how you lie to yourself to the man the manager was absolutely right about this, bro. Oh my god. How you said my fries is cold, my fries is this. I need fresh fries. I need cold chicken nuggets. I need this. I need that. Bro, shut your lying ass up, boy. <laughs> Give me your card, have your refund, take a business. Are you live, bro? Please don't come back. Okay. Scream at me. Hello, CT. Okay. Did you give him his refund? Like, is that all yeah, part? Refused to. Okay. You're not going to give me your refund. Okay. Having heard the owner's request, Ew. the officer then decides to definitely ban Antoine from the store. So here's the deal. Well, he's in trouble owner, for he sure. Has the right to not remake your food. He is willing to do a refund. 
He has no problems doing a refund, but he's not going to remake your food. As a business owner, he can do that. Okay. Um, he does not want you coming back in the store. He actually wants us to criminally trespass you, so you will not be allowed back at this no, McDonald's. I, I don't even stay here. I keep. It doesn't matter. He's requested it. We got to do it. It's not a big deal. It's so a piece of. Charge me? No, we're not charging. It's a piece of paper we're going to give you that's going to say, "Hey, you can't come back to this McDonald's." That's all it is. Damn. Like, yeah. No, just like just realistically, did I do anything? I don't know. I I'm not here to even figure that out. I'm here to I'm here to keep the peace. Man, I don't know what to say to this. At the same time, I know he lied to himself, but I don't think he's not ever gonna come back to this McDonald's ever again. Ever since he just yelled at him and just throw the food at him, I don't say any more, bro. Yeah, this I'm is loving this too. Civil. So yeah, yeah, okay, okay. yeah. Okay. Okay. No, no, I don't want to complain about it. Um, no, no. So fine, I just I'm just don't understand what I did wrong. With no, you're good. After explaining the situation to Antoine, the officer then goes to his car to fill in the CT form, and it is here that he discovers who Antoine actually is. Oh, shh. Oh, okay, they're alive. Caution. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! I'm getting cooked. What a person? What the? Bro, what? Bro, what? Hell he's no. wanted per- Oh, he's dead. He's cooked. Yep, he's cooked. He's cooked. He's cooked. I'm sorry. He's cooked. Oh, he's a he's getting arrested. Oh, okay. Violence, armed and dangerous. Oh man. The following seconds of silence are clear proof of the big surprise in he's which cooked. the officer was. And by the time the owner had told the officer that Antoine had an ankle monitor attached to his leg, he knew exactly how to proceed. I don't know if he's pulling it, but he's being slick over here. He's got a big damn ankle monitor. I gotcha. As the officer approached Antoine, he, lights he can detect signs of nervousness, seeing his body language, almost as if he knows what was coming. He lied. No, sir. So just come over here, I'm gonna have you sign this real quick. I said I'm not under arrest. No, no, you're not. Yeah, just come over here, I'm gonna have you sign this real quick. You have to sign it saying that you don't yeah. want to come back. So the, way, the way how he says violence. Dangerous armed. Oh no, that's fair. He's cooked at this point. So you'll fill this part out. Can I see it, sir? Yeah. Can you come over here, man? No, I'm, I'm afraid of y'all, sir. Why are you afraid? Three years, sir. I'm afraid of y'all. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna He's walk cooked, you man. through. I'm, Why are you I'm, doing that? I know how to fill it out. Why are you doing that? I know how to fill it Am I All right? Yeah. No, no. Oh, I knew it. You <laughs> got good. Oh, I don't. Oh my god, oh no, he burned, he burned, my boy's just dashing, he's dashing, bro. he burned it, oh, he's dead. Car, 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 car. When the officer approached him, he backed away, Sims took off. I knew this whole time, I knew this whole time he was suspicious, man, he's just running, like, running, leading he police running, dashing on pursuit. Away, bro. Officers eventually found him in a nearby residential parking lot after a resident called the police to say that a Low man IQ, was trying man. to break into a third floor apartment. Police then tasered him in the back, oh. causing Sims to scream hysterically and arrested him but if you thought calling the cops on yourself is the only thing these criminals are capable of doing you certainly don't know the case that of Cody Thorn Camp that, on February. bro that second guy was so freaking dumb he said his freaking fries per coat his nuggets is his code and then when he checked the ID bro it was just cook it was cook man he was just finished. My boy was finished. He got tasered and he went He went to jail. February 9th, 2022. Deshaun Hill's body had been found Damn. lifeless on a sidewalk in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Surveillance video would later reveal that when Deshaun was walking, another man walked next to him and shot him three times and then ran away. With the help oh, of the what camera a, footage. Oh, what a pure move, man. I don't like when they do that, bro, because that's just, that's wrong, man. How are you going to shoot a guy, an innocent guy, and then you just run away, bro? That's the shame bro and the community police were able to name 30 year old cody foreign as the prime suspect who was then brought in for interrogation little did the officers know of yeah, how bro's easy cook it would point. be to make him confess where are you from minneapolis police department minneapolis police department yeah. yeah all right so we're here to talk to you about uh get your side story like we do everybody else yep okay um we're investigating the murder that happened uh, last week. After reading him his rights, which explicitly say that you have the right to remain silent and everything you say can and will be used against you in court, he starts talking. What I just did was the people yesterday, these motherfuckers was able to do this to me. They was able to look at Okay, okay. Uh, well, I'll take a look at this in a second. I'm saying, look at, look at how they do me. 
Okay. Look how they do me. They just kicked my mom's door open, man. Well, they didn't they, kick your mom's door open. Yeah, they did, man. No, I was on the phone, man, with, with somebody while it happened, man. We were there. What is Bud actually yapping about, bro? Like, I literally don't even know what he's yapping about at the same time. He just talks about his mom after he just saw, shot the guy, bro. Literally, like, three times, bro. He runs away, bro. He literally has the lowest IQ still. We were there at your mom. Come on, man. Well, I said, like, like, like I said, man, this I ain't about that. Okay, you're I don't gang bang. I don't do, you know what I mean? I ain't with the guns. Are you sure I ain't about with that? The, you know what I mean? Let's listen to me. Okay, that's why we're here. Okay? There was a murder at GVR and Penn. Okay, we're not here just because we got nobody else to talk to, okay? We're here because you're involved with this murder. You've told people, you've told people. That's why you're here, you're, that's why you're not in Minneapolis. If I was the guy, I wouldn't even tell anybody. Well, I was just saying, but I'm like, it just feels so dumb how people just like tell themselves like, oh, I told the people that I murdered somebody. No, dude, don't be that guy, please. Okay, we have, we have talked to people all right, Man, check that, out. that have put you there at the scene. There's video of you at the scene. The whole time. The whole time. It's tough work, Okay, we know why you're there. I ain't buying it. You're not buying it. Buying I'm not here to lie to you, though. Why would, I, why would I lie to you? I ain't buying it. I ain't buying it. Why would I lie to you? The officer explained to Cody the whole situation and why he was there in the first place. Cody not Rhodes. long after, not he starts it. questioning him about his whereabouts on the day of the murder. I ain't even been on to you. You know where I've been at? Hmm. I mean, I was in Hayward, Wisconsin. Like I said, you weren't on, on a Wednesday the 9th you went there. It's Wednesday the 9th. Right. Wednesday the 9th. That's the day that young boy was murdered. Damn. Wednesday the 9th, I think I was over in Hayward, Wisconsin. I think I might even have a, uh, a ticket for the theater. Went to go see Sing 2 with my girl and her two nieces, so I'm mm -hmm. Yo, that's kind of what you're saying, bro. You did not take your nieces. You did not take your girlfriend to a freaking theater, bro. That's cap, dude. I know you did something, bro, already. So don't even talk. Just spill the beans, man. You're going to jail. Sorry, bro. With your girlfriend? Yeah. Oh, so you were in Hayward, Wisconsin? Well, I'm thinking, what well, you said Wednesday? Wednesday the 9th, okay? A week ago today is when that young man was killed. You were in Minneapolis. Okay, you're on video. Okay, I'm not telling you lies. I'm telling you the truth. Inconsistencies True. in Cody's story are starting to spring and he and the officers know it. So they keep asking him questions and taking advantage of this. So you can tell us you're in Hayward, Wisconsin? I know you're lying. Mm -hmm. There's no ticket stub that you can provide that's going to tell me you were in Wisconsin. Like I said, man. Damn. I, uh, you know, this is how this all played out. I was wondering about it. I was wondering about how you would pull a gun on. Somebody that got to AFib heart, you know what I mean? We weren't there. Nah, you what? You put him on him though. So like I said, man, like that shit could send my my mom got a short time to live, and y'all could have stopped it yesterday doing that dumb ass. Shit. So I'm just saying. They ain't like do shit off the cushion, trying bro. Trying to tell me something that that what? Okay. I don't know. I'm just telling. Wednesday you. the 9th, I, dude. I've been homeless. I've been homeless. I've been working with the. I've yep. been working with uh Val Val White. Sure, boy. Sure, sure, sure. I know you shot somebody, bro. Can't be lying to yourself at the time, same time, bro. Yep. I'm, she's been trying to help me find housing. Whatever. I she guess there's a short. Trying to find a phone for you is what she's been trying to do. Mm -hmm. A phone? Yeah. Well, yeah, a phone too. Yeah, she assisted me. What happened to your what phone? What happened to your phone? It got broke. Did it get broke where? It got broke. Where? At? Where? That's my girl. My girl broke my phone. Cody here explained how his phone suddenly broke, but <laughs> bro, look at his face, bro. I can tell he's lying, dude. I bet he's like shivering his timbers. I'm shivering my timbers because I'm going to jail. What he's Never not much. telling us is that he actually destroyed it on purpose to destroy any evidence against him. What's your phone number? Yeah, that's for you. trying to dig me in a hole, man. Like that's dig in a hole. You're already in the hole. You're in the hole. You're saying that you're telling me people are saying that they people are talking because you know what? That young man did not deserve to die that way. He was executed. Sure. He was executed. All right, and you know it. There's nobody. You know it. There's nobody that's protecting you at this point. Are you kidding me? That kid had no reason to die, whatsoever, and you didn't have any reason to kill him. But you did. To yeah, that's true, dude. This guy's a dumbass, bro. Why would you shoot an innocent kid when he's just like walking around, dude? If you if, if you have something bad in your mind, bro, take that shit out somewhere else, dude. Like for real, bro. It just makes me mad that people don't ever take it out on themselves. Like literally, they can literally just take it out in the house or whatever, dude. Not in the world, man. Like come on, man. Try to live a life, bro. Like seriously. To prove his guilt, when Cody is blamed yet again for the murder of Deshaun, his reaction and body language are absolutely contrary to that of most people in a situation like this. See on video, 
All right. Yeah, like I said, three yeah. shots. Three shots. Okay. And he's people and people describe you to a T. T. Ooh. Absolutely. So why would people be saying, hey, it's him? He didn't even see the bullet coming. He shot him from the behind. That's sad. And he died right there on a cold sidewalk. Face down in a blood puddle. Check it out, man. Like I said. They don't check it out. What you, you expect, what, you, what you expect me to... I don't know. Have a heart. Have a conscience. No, like, like, what the fuck you expect me to sit here and put, put me at a place where I wasn't right at the time? Where were you then? Like I said. Where were you? The ninth. The ninth was a Wednesday. Exactly a week. A week ago yeah, today. Right today. Actually, yeah. Exactly right, right about now. Yeah, we were still up at the scene processing. Mm-hmm. Shit, I think I was my, um... My big brother, Kurt. Kurt? Kurt is one Where's he at? Yeah. Um, Where's he at? Because he doesn't stay anywhere near in the city. Yeah, he does. Does he stay in the city? Well, he doesn't stay in the city. Well, well, Interesting. He, okay. He does and he don't. He works He works three jobs in the city. He works at Pizza Luce's. He works at the, the, the club, the strip club. The which, security guy. Which one? Three jobs. Um, he's the lying, bro. The Red Lake office, so, uh, security. The Red Lake security. So he's traveling from Red Lake to Minneapolis. No, not from jobs. Red Lake. He's, no, the Red Lake office is over in South Minneapolis, okay. sir. So far, it appears that with enough pressure from the officers, Cody starts to slip up more and more. His story begins to show multiple gaps, and it seems... He's starting to feel nervous like a mug, bro. Like, it's game over for him, dude. It's literally game over. Just, you're done. You're done for. Just get arrested already, bro. You're done. Like his ego is bigger than himself because exactly. when he's questioned and those gaps make reference to him being a liar, he can't control it and loses his temper. Oh, he drives from Red Lake all the way to Minneapolis. So I'm saying, y'all gonna f with my nerve. Sit and play around. No, but here's the like Cody. I said, I ain't, I ain't, like, well, like I said, Cody, he's all not trying to do. Know it all. Here's the thing. Know it all. Can, I, can I just say something? If I was sitting in your chair and I had. Two, dude, I got mercy, dude. Hold on a second. I got mercy, dude. Look, look at this shit. Sit down. Look at this shit. Sit down. Look at this shit. Yep, sit down. Yeah, it's crazy. So, and really, I don't even want to. Like, here's one, so one thing. One thing. One thing. Hold on. I'm so on. mad right now. No, I was supposed yeah. to. I was supposed to. I was supposed to. Yeah. ERT. Ooh, 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 ooh. They all come talking about some goofy. What is Bud? What is Bud yapping about, man? Like, I don't know what he's saying at the same time, bro. I can't literally understand what this guy's saying. He just yapping. Basically, he's yapping the entire freaking video. Dude. That's goofy. To the surprise of no one, Cody then got even angrier. And not only did yep, he tell the got detectives mad. that he was at the scene of the murder on the day it happened, confirming he is the killer, but he also reveals the tragic and despicable motive behind his actions. Exactly. You were by Wally's. That's I was by Wally's. You were? But y'all don't know the motherfucking story. Well, tell me. You were supposed to be in the motherfucking face and stole my phone. Damn, All that dude. stupid shit. That don't mean I pulled the motherfucking trigger. Just because chill, some man, people chill. say some shit. We got some it, kids in here. That's what it is. That's what it is. So y'all gonna go with the fuck you here anyway. I was over at the store. And I got fucking my... That's what that was. Who, who jumped you? I don't, I don't... Like I said, I don't know. When, that don't make me no murder. When, I called my big cousin. My big cousin come get me. He, ooh, 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 what the hell is like? I said, one was, one was, ooh, ooh, I don't know. Nothing came on me. When, when you did, act like, can I pull the trigger on somebody? When did you get jumped or when did you get your stuff robbed? Man, I went to that the Wally's. I went to the Wally's for a backwood and a pack of Newports. Right? When? 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 Yeah, when, when, bro? Was it Wednesday? 11, uh, 11, 11. Was it Wednesday? Here, Cody explained how he killed an innocent young man only because he got angry. After such That's a harrowing That's and sad statement, bro. the detectives had everything they needed to finally arrest Cody. Finally. We're not lying. We're not lying. No? Uh -uh. Because you have to understand, we got to put this case together, right? Right? I see how y'all are trying to put the puzzle piece of puzzle together with y'all. Yeah. Like, you're the last nah, piece of this puzzle. Nah, like I said, man, y'all ain't even shit. Dang. Like I said, I'm, I'm being honest with you. You're not. Cody He's Formigan done for. was charged and convicted of murder and was finally sentenced to 38 years in prison. Though some people there you disagree. Go and think that he should never be allowed to be released. Speaking of controversial cases, True. here we have Raymond Gates, an Ohio man who was sentenced to nine years in prison. Oh, the, another retard. Okay. Old, and in the following inter- Yep, we all knew that third guy was very stupid because I already know, why would you shoot an innocent guy in front of the freaking public when people can see it? If it, if it was so privately, I don't think nobody would know for real. So I'm, I might as well just get straight to this, bro. Let, I'm sorry for pausing this, but let's get straight to it. Interrogation footage, you can see not only how he confesses to his crime, but how he doesn't even realize he did it. Well, the problem is that the video 
Well, you should live streaming at the time. Okay. A bunch of people saw it. Okay. Hundreds. All right. And yes, there is. She is sitting with you on the bed and stuff. But when it comes down to the point where you're actually going to penetrate her, you start to penetrate her vagina. Penet yo! Yo, 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 pause, pause, pause. Hey, yo, minute, what bro. the fuck? Nah, this is getting sus already. No, stop. No, she, we were talking all the time. I mean, girls get, when you're, they mean she's a virgin and stuff, man. Oh my God, she said before bro. that, she said, I don't give a fuck, I don't give a fuck what you do. She said that, is that on the video? When she was like, I don't care, I don't care what you do. I don't, I don't care, you know? I mean, I took a girl's virginity before, you know, they're, she's in my fucking bedroom, dude. She's in my bedroom. She's right there. I'm not a fucking dude. I'm not a rapist. I'm a good guy. I've only been with a few women. I'm not. Oh my God. It's the answer to the problem of that crap that's going on with just the R word. Oh my God. Okay. This, this girl came back to my house. She's telling, she's 18. She's a virgin. She's telling me she wants to lose. 18? I was literally 18 last freaking mud. Now I'm 19, dude. That's crazy, man. Virginity, man. They, like, she's ready to do it and everything. And then right a couple seconds before, and she's like, uh, she's like, I don't know and stuff like that. I mean, that's how girls get when they, have a, when they lose virginity. And then afterwards, we're like, nah, that's how girls be like, Bert Hank, go line. She's not mad at me. She's not upset with me. They got drunk. I got drunk. She's, she's in my bedroom. She's upstairs. And everything she's telling me yes everything's cool she's cool with making out she's cool with us getting naked she's cool with us being there and then all of a sudden you know right a couple seconds before i mean i'm sure she's like i'm sure that's what happens girls are like oh you know i don't know it's gonna hurt and stuff like that having explicitly oh explained what happened and how the girl asked him to i think he's already lying already bro damn this sucks stop a couple of seconds before he did it he had just confessed and it's all been recorded damn when she, when she screamed stop Please don't do this. It hurts so much. I was already what, inside what, of her at that point. I mean, like the oh no, stop! I'm already like inside of her there, man. It's already like that's when she's like, oh, it hurts. Oh, when she hurts when I'm her virginity taken. Finally, the man was found guilty and was sentenced to nine years in prison. Eee, if you enjoyed this video, bro, watch this yeah. one, and don't forget. Yeah, man, it's already over already, bro. Oh my God, that's dude. That last one got me like that last one got me like confused and kind of disgusted at the same time too. All right, guys, if you really did enjoy the video so far, I'm really glad you did. And also, I did came up with this new idea of me just watching some criminal videos of just stupid people basically getting arrested for just basically just being so dumb. I had the lowest IQ ever, but that last one just threw me off. But the second one, I knew the second one. This guy was just so stupid, bro. He literally just throw food at the guy. He literally just said his vice is cold. His nuggets is cold. Like, bro. Stop making excuses, bro. Just tell the truth already, bro. And then your ID just got exposed, bro. Damn, that that's where that guy just went like, yeah, he went skedaddle, skedoodle, man. But yeah, guys, that's all I can really talk about for today. I am so glad you enjoyed this freaking video, bro. I'm really glad you did. And also, y'all go ahead and just smack 25 likes in this video for today. And I'll see y'all in the next upload.